On the line right now is Elise Wheel, Fox News. Uh, Elise, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Doing great. All right. So each week we do three topics from the legal side, and Elise breaks them all down. Of course, Merrick Garland, Supreme Court President Obama, makes the nomination yesterday. What are we looking at? What are your thoughts? Garland is 63 years old, the Chief Justice of the U.S. Court of Appeals in D.C., um, outstanding justice. Senator Orrin Hatch has said he would be terrific mm. to be confirmed virtually unanimously. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but is there a chance they might they... get past the idea that they would actually look, the Repub- Republicans would actually look at Garland, is that he was a chief judge, confirmed, uh, and, and the, the, the praise from Orrin Hatch has yeah, got to yeah. have some weight. And he's 63. So if you say, you know, well, he's really moderate, yeah, yeah, you know, chief judge, and he's a bit older. So, you know, if you look at the charts of, you know, age, and I mean, I hate to be so crass, but right. he's not going to be on the, on the court as long as, 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 the, as the 49-year-old probably would right, be. Right, right. This is probably a smart pick by the president, which could really backfire, do you think, on Republicans? I mean, I'm not with... a political analyst, but yeah. don't you think people out there in, 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 we're, in our world, in not New York world, would say, wait a second, we're getting kind of ticked off that all these decisions, we've got, we've got a 4-4 split in the court. We want our court to work. Right. And all these decisions get up to the court, and the court basically says, well, we just kind of a lemonade stand out here because we can't do anything. We're split. Right, right. That that's not right. That is not right. That is not what we expect from our right. highest court in the land. And the other issue here is Lindsey Graham, who came out last week and said, "Listen, uh, I understand you think you're going to be doing something cutesy, but the fact is, if Donald Trump is the nominee, uh, Lindsey does not feel that uh, Donald Trump will become president. Hillary will, and, and she'll not." Someone more liberal, you're better off taking exactly. yeah, right now. Exactly. And the other thing, and this is just me just being, you know, maybe I'm just not very smart, but I just don't think that the Supreme Court should be played with. Right. Let's just get people in there yeah. that are good and bright and will look at the law and protect the law and people and people's rights. Yeah. I mean, I just don't think the Supreme Court should be made political. I guess I'm just a girl from Yakima who thinks that. <laughs> All right. Uh, topic, Whoa on me. <laughs> top, topic number two. Uh, they were saying Trump would be possibly charged with inciting a riot. Turns out that's not going to happen. No, it won't be. Yeah, but the yeah. guy. But there was another guy who will be charged with ass, with assault. Right. Who was in the? It was in the uh, one of the uh, was in there. Uh, who will be charged with assault for saying, "I have to kill. I might kill a protester." So yeah. what I would say to Mr. Trump is just tone it down, please, please tone it down. Because other people that are in the in with you in those yeah. um, uh, protests or in those uh, you know places where you're inciting a riot or potentially inciting a riot will be charged. So yeah. just kind of tone it down a little bit. All right, last topic: using an emoji. Now, emojis are those little things on your iPhone. They're little smiley faces or thumbs up or whatever that you can put in when you're doing a text message. Smiley face. Using emojis can get you in big trouble. There's a girl, a 12-year-old well, girl in Virginia. She's accused of threatening her school with social media messages. She used the word killing, meet me in the library Tuesdays, and then she used, she used emojis of a gun, a bomb, and a knife. And she's charged with threatening of the school and computer harassment. Wow. Yeah. So emojis, it's now this kind of, is it, is it free, you know, it's a free speech. Right. Are emojis speech? I don't know. So uh, emojis, the are, they're the little the little icons that come along with your iPhone and everything right now. Yep. Um, all right. Yep. So you're saying it could, I mean, here's a charge. It could be the case. It could be. All right. And it how old be. is she? She's 12 years old. 12. She's 12. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but crazy. There are cases out there where they're, you know, they, uh, people put out threatening speech and then they put out smiley face and to say, well, I really didn't mean it. Smiley face. Right, right. Tongue in cheek. I'm looking for I that emoji. Know. I, I don't seen that know. One yet. All right, Lise, great stuff. Thanks. We'll Smiley talk to you. Face. Talk to you again next <laughs> talk week. Talk to you later. Thanks so much. Be good. All right. Uh, I have uh, Chester's Flowers this weekend. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you uh, remember, but it's Palm Sunday this weekend. Big, big weekend over at Chester's. And every year they do their annual Palm Sunday open house. And it's being extended this year to two days, both Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. this weekend. Uh, bring your camera and you can capture, as they say, the beauty and the fun. 
Uh, bring your kids to see the live ducklings. Plus, they can visit Chetty the Rabbit both days, Saturday and Sunday. Great decorating and gift ideas in the showroom. Uh, the greenhouses are wide open. It looks like not only, I mean, spring is in full bloom right now over at, uh, at Chester's. And, of course, the ducklings. These little, tiny, little baby ducks will be... Uh, tiny, and- adorable, sweet... Precious little baby ducks. See, I couldn't have said it that way, Christine. I'm so glad you um, <laughs> piped in there. Um, uh, but it is a huge attraction. So it's this weekend at Chester's, a perfect time to go out and, uh, and check it out. Chester's Flowers at 1117 York Street between Court and Burstone Road. And you can call 797-2360, chestersflowers.com. And, of course, you can ship uh, flowers to anyone, anywhere, all over the country. Uh, right from Chester's. Hold tight. I have a birthdays here for today. It is uh, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Jim Pasquale, a, a nice Irish guy uh, from Rome. Jim <laughs> celebrating today. Happy birthday, uh, Jim. Davy Smith, our very own Davy, is celebrating hey, hey. today. Casey Peters and Utica as well. The cake goes to Jim Pasquale from uh, Rome. Or Jim Pasquale or Pasquale. I'm not sure how you uh, pronounce that, Jim, but either way, it's the day. Happy birthday. Jim gets the cake from the Florentine Pastry Shop. You can join our VIP club and submit your birthday online at WYBX950.com or send us a postcard, WYBX Birthdays, 9418 River Road, Marcy, 13403. Uh, coming up, I'll talk to David Schwerdlich. He is the assistant editor at the Washington Post, uh, piping in on this this uh, Supreme Court issue. There's really no chance that, uh, that this, this guy is going to see the light of day, do you think? Uh, we'll get into that coming up quickly. And also, the uh, the Swamp Drivers, they're opening for Marshall Tucker tonight, and they're in studio. He's got a brand-new instrument. He makes guitars out of, uh, you know, like a broom or a shovel, and he has a brand-new, really cool instrument that uh, honors a local establishment, a local business, a local employer. Uh, we'll get into all that coming up. News is next in two minutes on WMBX.